stacked them up freshman year of college stacked them up on the mama noodles if you're familiar with that brand and it was the um i think shrimp fla shrimp flavor yeah <clears throat> the shrimp flavor what's up everyone how's it going it's your everyday foodie here back with another mukbang and today we are having indomie migoreng noodles which are indonesian noodles or uh, instant noodles and uh yeah so i got a couple of uh options here and one that probably looks familiar to you which is not Indo indomie brand but i'll go through this so what we have over here on this side is just the regular fried noodles that they that the packet is. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know what it is. I don't think I've ever... Had... No, I've only had this one. I don't think I've had any of these. And then this one is the special chicken, which I'm not sure what that means. Maybe there's a dish in Indonesia called special chicken, so this is supposed to imitate that flavor. Let me know in the comments down below um, what special chicken is if you're from Indonesia. Um, and then this one is hot and spicy. And then over here, I don't know how hot this is, but you know, just keep a little spice in your life. I got the Samyang or Samyang, whatever you want to call it. People pronounce it differently, but it's the 1X uh, spicy noodles on this side. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So I'm excited. Let me go with this one because this is the one I've had before. I haven't had in such a long time, but let's try this out. Now, this is what I'm familiar with. Just the basic noodles. You have your little crunchies in there too. It tastes perfect. <clears throat> I had also gotten a uh, barbecue flavor one just to try it out <clears throat> I didn't do it um, for this but I had it separately and it didn't taste like barbecue chicken I mean it said it was barbecue chicken but it didn't taste like it so I don't know okay let us move on to this one which is called Special chicken, which I'm not sure what that means, but let's see. I'm not sure if I'm tasting anything. Also, I put way too many noodles. <laughs> On camera, it probably looks like a lot, and it is a lot. There's two packets of each and then one packet of this. So seven packets total of noodles. This just kind of tastes like um, salty with a little bit of spice. But I'm not really tasting any other flavor in here. I don't know. Let's see. It's an interesting um, salty taste. It's like there's a couple, there's like two different types of salty that I, I have. There's salty that's just like, oh my gosh, that's way too salty. And there's salty where it's just like an addictive saltiness that you get from like chips and stuff like that. That addictive saltiness is what I'm getting from here. Okay, here we have the hot and spicy one. Let's see how hot and spicy it actually is. Mm, that's good. 
I can feel a little bit of heat, but it's a little more um, kind of sweet. It's good though. I can kind of get the heat a little bit later. The only problem with uh, eating these type of noodles or so much of this is that it's meant to be eaten <clears throat> dry or you know not liquidy so as a result it gets really dry <clears throat> I honestly shouldn't have even made that I don't know what I was thinking I was like I need a little bit of spice why not just make this? Oh my gosh. Well, it's sitting here, so might as well try it. Just don't splash everywhere. That's the last thing you want, getting this in your eye. There's the spice. Oh. What am I even doing? Why did I put that in there? I was like, oh, I just need to spice it up a little bit. <clears throat> need some spice in my life. I'm just going to ruin everything. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to eat this. I don't want to ruin the rest of this. This is just like... Too spicy compared to everything else that I just don't want to ruin it. There we go. Man. Every time, like, so I have like a monitor or my laptop over here so I can make sure that, you know, it's recording and everything. And, um... Whenever I'm eating noodles, and I look over at myself eating the noodles, I'm like... I feel like eating noodles is, like, maybe one of the most... unappealing things. I mean, at least on myself. Like, there's some people that can eat noodles and it looks, like, they look elegant or, like, uh, they look good. They just look good eating noodles. I look at myself eating noodles and I'm just like, man, I look bad. <laughs> I just can't eat noodles well. Yeah, I definitely put way too much in here. So eating these kind of noodles is kind of like nostalgic to me because it brings me back to those college days. Um, my friend and I, we, like his mom, so my friend's Asian, so this is probably would make sense. But his mom stacked him up, freshman year college, stacked him up on the Mama Noodles, if you're familiar with that brand. And it was the, um, I think, shrimp 
fla- shrimp flavor. Yeah, <clears throat> the shrimp flavor. And so we had so many of those in his room, <clears throat> at his dorm, and literally they are the easiest things to make. Like, I'm sure every Asian has this. Is where for like it has like there's a little kettle like an electric thing that you put on a little kind of mount on of the kettle and it just instantly boils the water like within a minute so you know there's no need for microwave or anything it's like instant boiled water you add that to the noodles let it cook drain it out add the seasoning oh those were, you could eat, I don't know, we would go through and maybe at least three in one sitting. I felt like Indomie is pretty small packets, but to me, Mama seems even smaller, the packaging. Maybe it's me, I maybe I just had a huge appetite back then, but we cranked through those packets. And they tasted so good. So good. So this just brings like back hella memories. Just sitting there, hanging out, chilling on the futon, watching some TV, and making some noodles and chowing down. Like literally like you know like those um bulk packages and when I say bulk packages I mean like they come in like a box just like you straight a bulk packaged in a box you grab out of there it's not like any pretty packaging or anything oh those were so good maybe I'll I'll do one with those <clears throat> sometime You can probably tell which one I like the most, right? You got the regular fried one and the hot and spicy. We're good. This one, I don't know. You let me know how this is supposed to taste. I, it doesn't really taste like much to me. Yeah. It's just that addictive saltiness I was talking about. Clean this one up, though. I think I'm going to call it there. I know I didn't even touch this. I was dumb in thinking that I wanted something spicy. I didn't even, I just overestimated how many how much noodles I had. I had two packets, two packets, two packets and one packet here. Here again, seven packets of noodles, and I thought I was going to eat all that. <laughs> yeah, I was not thinking. I was not thinking at all. Six as it is, I didn't, even, I didn't even finish. I finished maybe like what? One, two, three, four, I'll say. Five packets. Five-ish packets. Four and a half, maybe. Whew, that is way too much. But that was Indomie Migoreng noodles. We got the regular uh, fried noodles, the... Special chicken will also let me know what that means. I don't know. Hot and spicy, and then this, the uh, 1x nuclear noodles that I was stupidly made and just should have, whatever. <laughs> it's done now. Well, that is it for today. If you enjoyed today's mukbang, go down below and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel and have yet to subscribe, also go down below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified when I'm posting my next video. And also, if you have any requests or anything, I'm also very open to taking requests for mukbangs or ASMR or whatever you want me to do. Um, people have requested stuff, and I've been trying to get those out. Um, but if you want to, if you don't feel shy, you know, don't be shy to request anything. I'm more than happy to do so. All right. But on that note, I hope all of you are having a wonderful day and a beautiful week. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>